but it's the first poem and a poem I want to extend, or, or a poem sequence I want to extend across our country. This one's called Genesis. And where begin but the western shore of a proud and virile ocean at the sea marge, the surf fringe, the phosphorescent white surge and sea urge upward, the sea thrust upward unto land. The bones of sailors, the wash of crusted decks, blood of giant sea monsters, stew of a million and more millions of lives, boiling in the surge, in the great urge shore. Thirteen bells for a drowned man, his earring graces a seaman's hand, and the beat of the ocean's watery dance tolls him and rolls him ashore. An ivory onk on that drowned man's bones in the moan and the roll of the sea's hearts beat in the crash and the sizzle and the wash and the bubble of the waves as they sponge themselves on the sand. This ivory onk by a drowned man's hand came to land in the vital urge of the seaborne salt and it came in the light in the green glow white to land to the sand where the trade of the two worlds is made. In the hollow roar and the swoosh of the surf, the ocean dropped it, tickled it up again, then at last laid it a rest on the brown wet sand, and the waves with their green glow light withdrew. Rock and sleep, Archimedes, roll and sleep, thy part's been played, repose, be grave. And now that sand, that boundary a few yards, a half mile beyond the new world's muscle and latent strength grip firm and the ocean's reach gives up, withdraws into itself. That boundary, the sea rush up and the land roll down, mix the waste of two worlds where the heat of the day from the potent two forges something new in the whir and the tear and the click of air things feeding on sea things. And there, of course, in the hot sun, putrescence, sun rot and gassy decay and flies for midwives, the first great step 